Laura Hope Cruz was an American actress who is best remembered today for her later work as a character actress in motion pictures of the 1930s. Her best known film role was Aunt Pitypat in Gone with the Wind. Early life Cruz was the daughter of stage actress Angelina Lockwood and backstage carpenter John Thomas Cruz. She had three older siblings. Cruz started acting at age four. Her first stage appearance was at Woodward's Gardens. She stopped acting to finish school and then returned to acting in 1898. As she was a native San Franciscan, the records pertaining to her early life were destroyed in the earthquake and fire of 1906. Most of Cruz's formal education came in San Jose, as the family had moved there following the remarriage of Cruz's mother. Career in 1898, Cruz performed in San Francisco as an ingenue with the Alcazar Stock Company. Two years later, she and her mother moved to New York City, where Cruz began to act with the Henry V. Donnelly Stock Company. Cruz appeared in plays written by A. A. Milne, who was particularly impressed by her work in his Mr. Pym Passes By. The play was a big success and ran for 232 performances on Broadway. Cruz also starred as Judith Bliss in the original Broadway production of Noel Coward's Hay Fever, which she co-directed with Coward. She also appeared in The Silver Cord, written by Sidney Howard, which was produced by the New York Theatre Guild in 1926 and ran for 212 performances. When The Silver Cord was not being presented, there were matinee performances of Right You Are If You Think You Are by Luigi Pirandello. The Silver Cord was later made into a 1933 RKO movie with Cruz reprising her on-stage role of the mother. The film co-starred Joel McRae, Francis D., and Irene Dunn. In the late 1920s, and because of her years as a stage actress, Cruz had been hired as a voice coach by Gloria Swanson to help with her transition to talking pictures. George Cukor, who had directed her in Camille, recommended her for the role of Aunt Pitypat in Gone with the Wind after Billy Burke declined it. Cukor wanted Cruz to play the role, in a Billy Burke-ish manner, with the same zany feeling. Her final stage appearance came in 1942, in the original Broadway run of Arsenic and Old Lace in which she replaced one of the original cast members. She stayed with the production for more than a year and a half on Broadway and in a touring company before she was forced to leave because of illness. Death Cruz died in the Leroy Sanitarium in New York City in 1942, following an illness of four months. She was laid to rest at Cypress Lawn Memorial Park in Colma, California. Cruz has a star at 6251 Hollywood Boulevard on the Hollywood Walk of Fame.